Hello! Welcome back to my uh, play. Yeah, <laughs> would you even call it a lust play? It's not quite a lust play, but welcome back to Starbase, my friends. Um, so, been playing a little bit off and on during the last week or so. I've done a lot in the ship designer, which I'll, I'll show what I've been working on in there shortly. Uh, but what I really wanted to get to doing, which I still haven't done, is really get into uh, a little bit of exploration, getting outside the, uh, the old uh, safe zone. And to do that, I went ahead and just purchased a ship um, because there are some rare materials that are not easy to get and you have to go outside the safe zone, so it didn't really seem to make sense to bring my default ship. So I picked us up a moderate ship here. It's got 24 crates, so it's still better than the, uh, than the uh, laborer. And it uh, is, it's pretty zippy too, since it's got the, the six forward thrusters. Um, it's got a decent sized tank. Uh, it's called the, uh, the Modulus by Okium. Uh, specifically the FR version, which uh, has the longer uh, range because of the larger tank. Uh, and then um, it doesn't have the mining stuff on it. Uh, so I updated it to have the Ison Quad. By default, it comes with Ison Mono, so I just added three more uh, navigational sensors and updated the scripts, which is going to give us much more accurate positional data. We've also added the velocity uh, uh, chain, uh, what do you call it? Velocity add on, which gives us a little bit of an idea of what our velocity is via that. Yeah, so what we're going to do is you probably won't see too much of it because I'll probably just pause here as we get until we get further out. But I'm going to start flying into the uh, into the uh, the asteroid belt, getting further and further from origin, and then we're going to see if we can find some of those rare materials uh, that we need to build spaceships. We have most of everything else. It's just a few of the more rare ones that are further out we don't have. So if we can get a, and we don't need a lot of it. So if we can get like a stack or so, that'd be great because then we could just build our ship and not have to worry about uh, purchasing those materials on the auction house which are quite expensive to purchase as a stack like five million credits just for one stack granted a stack can last you a while but still not ideal so I'm gonna head out and then uh, I'll resume once we maybe get out of the safe zone if we don't run into anything interesting along the way so I'll see you then Welcome back. Just to give you a quick update, we are now entering the uh, the asteroid field here. We're getting further and further away from uh, uh, the origin station. We just got to be careful as we're flying through here so we don't accidentally hit any asteroids, but we should be doing all right. Uh, let's see. We're currently about... Ooh, it's getting a little dense. We're about what? I'm not sure which one is it. Why? 31,000 is our current Y position, 31,000, 31 kilometers. At least I presume that the POS is in kilometers there. Ooh, it's getting a little dusty. Let's just keep going here and see what we see. Because we've mined a lot of I've mined a lot of this stuff before. Because we have a, a fair amount stored up now uh, in the last week that uh, I was starting to save up for making a ship. Um, but I ended up deciding to purchase one just because uh, spending you know four million was a lot easier than trying to find those uh, rare resources for a mid-range uh, mining vessel. That's a slight upgrade from the laborer. But this worked out a lot better, so I'd highly recommend the Modulus FR if you want to be able to get outside the safe zone and do some mining and exploration, because we can get the ice and quad on here e very easily, velocity upgrade, and then uh, we can also uh, get outside the safe zone without having to fear losing our only ship. We can save our coordinates if we do find anything interesting. So far, nothing too interesting. We should get uh, a warning here once we uh, get closer to once we exit the safe zone. So I'll just keep going. If I see anything else interesting, I'll let you know. Otherwise, we'll just keep going until we get out of the safe zone. All right, so we have left the safe zone. So technically, anybody could come up and shoot us and take our stuff. Not that we have a whole lot worth taking. So let's just uh, continue into the black here and see what we see. I've heard of there being giant asteroids out here, but I'm not sure what the details are around that. I 
just fly out for a while here. Certainly it's difficult to judge where we are in relation to everything uh, out here in the void. And it's not even the void, it's an asteroid field. Like, are we near the top of the asteroid field? Are we near the bottom? This asteroid here. Let's see what sort of materials in it. Oof. Uh, let's see where is that uh, resource bridge. This color, I don't remember seeing this color material before. It just seems you know, that is actually something we kind of need. Actually, no, we don't need anymore. It just seems you know, we need tangium. There's ice on the outside, which we don't need that anymore. I've purchased a bit of that. I guess if it was so easy to get to, I probably shouldn't have done that, but I don't think it was terribly expensive to get. Let's just keep uh, heading out from the warp gate here. We'll double check our orientation. So that we get farther away from the warp gate. Hopefully we'll start to see some bigger asteroids. We'll start to do some exploration here and hopefully find some more rare materials. Feels like we're leaving one of the clouds here. I don't know if we're too far up, too far low, or just right. It's all new to me. It's so dark here. Take a look at it here. But what's an asteroid and what's a dust mode? It's hard to tell. Here's an asteroid. Iconium is one of the normal materials that we can find near the, uh, in the safe zone. Let's keep flying for now, maybe see if we can find another big asteroid to go take a peek at. Oh, is that an asteroid right ahead? Whoa, too fast. Red, I'm guessing that's Charodium, another common metal. special there. Let me just do a quick ask around to see how far we have to get from the warp gate to uh, start seeing anything special. Uh, 
so there's the planet, there's the warp gate, and then we just want to do 180. Keep that warp gate behind us, make sure we're heading in the right direction. Alright, I'll be right back. So, we're still a ways out. Uh, still traveling. I did see something that caught my eye, though, so we're going to investigate to see if it's just a art blip, like a texture or something, or if it's actually something out there, but it looks like some giant asteroids. We see right here, where I'm circling, it looks like there's three little dots. Big rocks or something, so I don't know if that's just like a cloud texture on the background, or if those are actually supposed to be like large moon asteroids sort of thing. It's hard to tell because there's like this all this weird blacky smoke stuff. Inky. Going through more of that ink again. Could we get out of the ink? There we go. Starting to open up a little bit here. Yeah, it looks like there's some sort of giant asteroids out there. Go investigate. I know there is some sort of giant asteroids, uh, but they don't actually do anything right now. I've heard about those. And I think there are some larger asteroids with minerals in them. But I haven't seen too much of those, so this would be my first time seeing them. And they are quite large, aren't they? So... I think we're like 78,000 meters out from the area around origin. Assuming the 000 is origin station. I don't know what that, what those extra numbers, oh the numbers are trailing down below, that's what it is. Yeah, let's go check out this asteroid cluster here. Ooh, what's that? Spaceship over there is a rock. It's probably a rock. Yeah. That's Belkite rock. Our eyes open for any wrecks out here. We might be able to salvage it. Ooh! Gotta be careful. Don't want to hit those rocks. <laughs> Let's check it out. It's big. Guess you can't. I'm pretty sure these are the things you can't do anything with, though, right now. Um. Woo! Didn't mean to do that. I think maybe we'll turn my transponder on just to make sure I don't lose it. It's gonna broadcast myself to everybody, but it would be nice not to uh get lost, lose my ship out here. this back on. There we go. Go down to this planet and check it out. Orient. My ship. I think seems to be alright. There's anything here we could scan. So I think this is all just decor for now until they uh, decide what the hell they're gonna use these big asteroids. So they are just looks like uh, dangerous to watch out for and uh, props to make it look a little nicer out here. Well, let's head back to our ship and then we'll go find a big asteroid and see what's there. Not the giant asteroids. How are we doing on fuel and everything? Oh, we're fine. We're totally fine. Barely spent anything. So, let's kind of head this way. We got the sun on our left still. Keep our eyes open for, uh, what about this one? This one seems smaller than the others. Is it still, is it mineable or is it still just a giant? I think it's still just a giant. Or dwarf, however you want to. Dwarf planet. Yeah, 
it's probably just a dwarf planet, I would guess. So, that rock right there should be mineable though. Take a little peek at this guy, see what he has. Got some sort of material. The main materials we're looking for right now, uh, the big one that I don't have, uh, that I need more of is uh, Tangium, which that's a common one, or uh, I should say it's uncommon. But I mean, you can find it inside the safe zone. It's not unusual. You can find it. It's just rare. Uh, but that's not. It's, it doesn't have to come out here for it. The other stuff, exorium, for instance, and zolium, that stuff we have to specifically come out here for. Look here. See what's here. It almost kind of looks like tangium. Hey, it is tangium. About a stack or so. You know, not more than that, but. Will not complain. You're connected. Find it up over here. Oops. Tangium. And let's drop the Valkite. Valkite. Don't need that. Alright, so there's the warp gate, so we're gonna turn around. Point that warp gate behind us so we know we're heading in the right direction. We're gonna drive forward. Move towards this other large rock here. So maybe they put these large rocks as uh, landmarks to help you, uh... Oh, hold on, I'm gonna go take care of that. Some background noise. Alright, we're back. So we're continuing our journey here. Oh, gate is behind us. So yeah, we're just continuing further and further into the unknown here in the search of some of the more rare materials that we need for shipbuilding. You know, once the game gets into early access and we got a really good flood of players in, what I'll probably look into specializing in is salvaging, particularly once it's possible to uh, recover ships that are lost out in space. I feel like that'd be fun. Refurbish them and then maybe sell them to other players for cheap. Of course, they'd also have to have the ability to transfer funds. That would also be helpful. Maybe offer a, a refueling service as well. Build some uh, tanker ships. To go out to the far reaches and help refuel people if they run out of fuel. Now, so far with the way the stuff is configured, you shouldn't be running out of fuel unless you're. Uh, Going on some crazy expedition and went a little too far. For your trip back to be able to make it back. Because the uh, the propellant tanks last quite a few hours worth of travel time. Uh, unless you got a crazy amount of thrusters or inefficiencies on your ship. So one thing I'm definitely not liking right now is that it's really hard to see anything on here. Ugh, it probably doesn't help I'm getting some glare from my window. But there's just like little specks is all there is to see. It'd be nice to maybe put a headlight on the ship that can cast really far forward or something. I don't know. Just something to make it a little easier to uh, see where we're going. So it looks like we passed all those big asteroids. And they're all behind us now. Uh, we're at about 100, 1,000, 2, uh, 102,000 meters from the origin station now, approximately. word I heard is that you should start seeing some more rare materials uh, around 200 
plus kilometers outside the uh, Astro Belt. So now I wonder here, orientation wise, if I'm at the bottom of the belt or top of it. So up here it's all black, but up here we can actually see, which that's honestly fine. Maybe we'll just try and aim out of the Astro Field here. I'd much rather do that and be able to see where I'm going than to travel through that emptiness. Yeah, it looks like we're up above the asteroid field here. We'll, we'll level off here. Just go forward and try and get farther away from the uh, the work key here. Plenty of fuel, so that's definitely not a problem. Turn a little bit to the left. Alright, so I'll pause and then we're going to keep going for a while and then I'll come back if I see anything interesting. So we've been traveling for some time here, but I do believe I saw some titanic asteroids off in the distance. Slow down a little bit. Yeah, I keep seeing them a little bit here and there. There they are. Starting to fade in a little bit. Let's go check them out. So there's different classes of asteroids as I've been doing my research while traveling here. Ones we usually see are between uh, class one and class eight. We, I don't believe we've seen a class nine, ten, or eleven yet. I don't even know if eleven's in the game. I've heard of tens though. Ugh, I hate driving through this inky stuff. So those look like the big titanic ones that are unmineable. But let's head in their general direction just for funsies. keep our eyes open for any particularly large asteroids. Um, class 9 and 10 should look two or three times larger than what we're used to, if not uh, four times larger than some of the smaller ones. So I would think they would look pretty obvious, even at a distance if we're seeing them. Or so I would think. We'll just go ahead in this general direction, check out these guys. Uh, maybe stop every now and then. See if there's any interesting materials in these asteroids we're passing by. Like Bastion. Yeah. yeah. That's definitely a titanic asteroid, so nothing we can do with that right now. Other than to kind of use them as landmarks here. We're pretty far now, we're at 231,000 uh, meters on our Y. And according to that, we should start seeing some more interesting stuff. Well, here. What are those small asteroids next to the titanic ones? Charodium, it looks like. Music's changing around here. Makes me a little nervous. <laughs> So let's check out some of these smaller asteroids next to the big ones. The titanic ones, so maybe those are mineable. Oh, 
plaguey as we approach some of these larger asteroids here. I'm guessing these are still unmineable, even though they're smaller than the Titanics. See the the planet, can I? There's the planet. Warp gate should be over here someplace. Oh, there it is. You can kind of see it, kind of bugging into view. So we want to head the opposite direction. This way. All right. So those guys aren't mineable, unfortunately. Turn off facing the right direction. Area. So, unfortunately, still not mineable. Uh, so, let's just uh, continue outwards here. Cautiously here. So, we don't accidentally run into a giant asteroid like that one. It just appeared out of nowhere. Or so it felt like. seeing some of the better stuff. We have traveled quite far. So I will do some more investigating and see if anything else jumps out at me as being interesting. And I'll get back to you. Big beastie ahoy! So we found our first big asteroid here. Uh, it was fairly noticeable from a distance. Uh, it is Charodium, which we unfortunately really do not need. Uh, let's see here. Is there a way I can stand on this thing? And how does one, like, zoom out? There we go. Hey, there I am. There we are. All right. Uh, so yeah, so it's a big asteroid. Uh, so what we'll probably do is continue looking for other ones because we do not need Charodium. Um, in particular, we're looking for some of the more rare stuff like uh, Azalium and Corrosium, I think it's called. Well, that's what we'll be looking for here. I'll be back, see if we can find another big one. Alright, looks like we're coming up on some more Titanic asteroids. Go check them out. Keep our eyes open for any inordinately large looking regular mineable asteroids along the way. Uh, let's check out that Velkite one. Right. I kind of turned on turtle mode just to kind of keep us on the slower side. I've been having a heck of a time. I ran into a few things. Luckily, nothing, no serious damage. That wasn't repairable. The only main thing is I lost so ooh, is that Tangium or Ilmantium? Ooh, that's Tangium. Not a lot, but we'll take it. Need that. Excellent. Where's Tangium do we have now? about two stacks. Alright, so continuing where we were headed. Uh, we gotta turn around here. We wanna turn to our right. Okay, uh, shoot. I lost my heading. Oh, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Got those big asteroid, titanic asteroid field up ahead. Use that as one of our waypoints to know where we are. Alright. Any unusually large looking asteroids besides those guys?
they're pretty big in the distance. It really did catch my eye when I saw that other one. It sounds like they're pretty rare. Let's drift over by this asteroid over here. So far I still haven't found any of the rare materials. We have been finding some tangium, which is useful, but uh, none of the actual stuff we need for building our ship as of yet. That's just fast you can get that anywhere. circular asteroids and they at least felt like they seemed pretty big compared uh, when approaching it. Kind of like the Titanics but not quite that far away. Is that Tangium? That's probably the other stuff. Illumatium or something that I don't need. Odium. I don't have that. Uh, I don't think I need it though. But we'll grab it. Let me double check my list here. Yeah, I don't know what this stuff is for, but... Oops. We'll take it with us. Outside gravity wells, planets, or large moons. Uh, Onium. It doesn't say if it's rare or not. I don't think it really has its quality as far as its value. Maybe I'll ask around just to find out. journey. Hit up this asteroid. for any particularly large feeling asteroids. Would be nice if I could inspect the asteroid's material without having to get out of my ship. Or like use a rangefinder or something. Looks like, uh, Aegisium. Yep. Sounds like the uh, the onium is unusual, but not valuable. It's not required for building any ships at the moment, or not much of anything. All 
right, so I'll probably pause again and we'll just keep our eyes open for materials that we might need. Actually, no, I guess we'll keep going. Get closer to these asteroids here. What's this? Uh, this looks like a different color. Dengion! Sweet. That's the stuff I need. stacks of tangium so far. Cool. Uh, where, do we, where are we? Turn around. Looking for our waypoints. I think I lost them. Must be I'm, must be in an ink cloud. Oh, sorry if this is making anybody dizzy. It's making me dizzy. Just seen those Titanics. Where are they? Hit it like a, a cloud, a uh, inky cloud here. Now we can't see it, see them anymore. But we'll get out of the cloud soon. And then on our return trip, we'll probably just fly out of the, uh, the rings and then just fly above. There they are. There's the Titanics. Just keep heading this direction. Keep our eyes open. See if we see any extra. That uh, asteroid looks kind of large. Yep, don't need that right now. Let's see if we can get out of this ink cloud here. Get closer to these 
Titanics, and it usually seems like it clears up a little bit. Is that a Titanic, or is that a size 9? Probably a Titanic right in front of us. So this is comparable to those other rocks. Yeah, that's a Titanic. Clouds can't see anything. I definitely do not like the ink clouds in this. It just makes traveling the asteroids just not pleasurable. I don't have fun flying through here when I can't barely even see anything. start heading back soon. It was a little bit unfortunate. I was hoping to find some of the more rare materials that we need for spaceship building. But at least we are finding some Tengam, which is useful. Take a quick pit stop, see what's in here. Like Charodium. extra big. Check it out. <sniffs> Ooh, a little close. Well, it's not extra big. Ooh, it's Arcanium, though. That stuff's rare. Grab that. I think it's rare, right? Because we need 0 0.2 stacks of it. So yeah, so it's not it's not something we commonly need. As far as its rarity. Uh what's it labeled as? Arcanium rare. Actually not that heavy either. So we should be able to fit all the uh, stacks of it without any issue and then have plenty of it to make stuff. stacks on the auction house for profit. The goal of my sweet, sweet center. chunks instead of convenient to use large chunks. Oh, at least we found one barrel so far. 
Not too shabby. of arcana. Nice. I don't think that stuff's that dead, is it? No, it's actually really light compared to most stuff we gather. The Tengium is 6, uh, Bastium is like 8.08, .08. the Omnium is a little dense, but the Arcanium is not. So we'll just keep an eye on our ship here, make sure the weight doesn't hurt it or anything, and let's continue. Find another large-ish asteroid, pull up side, and see what we see. Let's see, we're still going, still going farther away from Y, which is what we want. Check out this big red asteroid here. Mm. I don't want to say it's Charodium, but I think Charodium is usually on. Oh, oh, shoot. I lost it. Where is it? Right there. I think Charvodium's usually on the other asteroid, isn't it? Something we need, maybe? Sertrite Crystal? What the heck is that? Sertrite Crystal. I don't know. I guess we'll grab it. Not a lot of data on it in the, uh, the Wikipedia. I guess it's supposed to be Comet? According to the spreadsheet somebody made. So we'll just gather it up regardless. Interesting. Certainly a nice little thing to have from our trip out into the depths. Not sure it's used for anything yet though. Often manifests in gas or crystalline form, highly reactive material will oxidize citrate, highly corrosive to many materials. Up here to rebound. 
against the load. Alright, which way is back to origin? I'm not even sure. I can't even tell. It's so dark in here. I usually keep the sun on my left. This guy seems a little bigger than others. Ah! Darn it. I'm pretty sure that was a GCM though, so we should be okay. Here seems a little on the large side. Let's check him out. No, oh, don't need that stuff. I know what that is. I forget what it's called, but I don't need it. I have a lot of it already. Should be, according to our Y, heading away from Origin Station. Hey, we can actually see stuff. That's convenient. Stop at one of these rocks here, check it out. What do you have on tap, sir? Well, I think uh, after we check this guy out, I'll uh, pause the recording again, and then I'll get back to you if we see anything interesting. Uh, just to rhodium. All right, so I'm gonna pause the recording, and we'll see if I can find anything interesting. All right, so we did find another unusual ore called Nergite. Nugite? Nugrite? Something like that? N-G-H something? Uh, it's one of the densest materials in the game, so probably really good for making armor. Since it's got the best armor uh, rating as well, as well as being ultra dense. At uh, 15 kilograms per kilovoxel, which is a lot. It's over almost twice as much as Bastium. So we probably might not mine all of them. It's probably gonna put a strain on our ship. But I mean, I guess if we can get it to fit, yeah, look at that. 110,911 kilograms per stack. Oh, that's less than I thought it would be. Oh, wait. Well, they must have changed the density from the, the spreadsheet here. Because it says. Should come out to 26,000 with a material density of 15.25 per kilovoxel. But this is saying it's only 6.31. Oh, I don't know. Maybe they changed it around. So I guess we'll just uh, go ahead and mine it. Mine it all, fit whatever we can. Maybe chuck some of the plain stuff if we have it clogging up our inventory here. To, uh, to keep looking for the rare stuff. I don't actually need this stuff to build ships or very little of it. So we don't need to have this in our inventory. So we might chuck some of these stacks out. If we do run into the stuff we do need. Same with the Tengium. Since Tengium is a, a common ore. We would chuck that out before we uh, leave behind the extra rare stuff that like, spawns way out here in the boonies. Alright, so I'm going to pause again and I'll see if we can find more rare materials. 
But we did find another rare one here, uh, Exorium. We also found Car Knife. I forgot to record that one. Uh, that one we already had, bought some off the auction house. I don't think it was too terribly expensive. But now that we have more, we shouldn't need uh, much of it anytime soon. We do need to make room though if we're gonna pick, take this uh, Exorium with us. So there's the Car Knight. Uh, let's ditch. Because I don't think these are actually used in any buildings, so we'll ditch them first. These aren't scooping up. I think maybe it's because I have too many slots filled. This one on here. The hell? No. Uh, let's try dropping a couple of these and see if that helps. That seems like it helped. Shouldn't want for uh, exorium, so we don't have to worry about that stuff. But we're still missing a number of things. I will drop the uh, that bell kite here. But let's see, let's hop in our. So the stuff that we are actually looking for is corrosium, corazium, corazium, um, and then. We need more Tangium, but that one's not rare. We almost have enough of that, actually, for uh, one of the builds I have in mind. And then we need Zolium. So Zolium, Corazium, and then the other one is Kutonium. Which we haven't found any of those yet, unfortunately. But we are, it does seem like, in the area where we should start seeing them. As we keep finding these rare materials. So I'll go ahead and pause again and see if we find any of those materials we need. But just wanted to jump back real quick because I think I see an extra large asteroid. That or maybe it's a Titanic. Way off, centered right now on me in the distance, there's a very large asteroid. But it doesn't look like it's moving down very much. So it's making me think it's probably a Titanic. We can fly towards it and see what we see. There's some Titanics off in the distance as well. It must be a Titanic kind of on the edge of the, the Titanic field. So yeah, that's massive compared to the regular asteroids. If only that would have worn it. We go smack it just for fun. I'm almost 100% certain there's nothing in here. Yep. Hello, anybody home? I guess not. Nuts. Alright, we'll get back to it then. Got a little excited, but nope, not a giant asteroid. Looks like there's some more uh, Titanics off in the distance here. We'll just keep searching and see what we see. Well, ran into one of the dangers of flying through a uh, an asteroid field. We bumped into an asteroid. This guy down here, a stupid Mercurium. This is trying to get a drive-by look at it. Uh, let's see. Doesn't appear we've lost anything serious. Everything still seems to be bolted together, at least. Gotta get it reattached. See it here. Right, uh, it's registering. Looks like it's registered. All right, so then we just got to boulder down. Some bolts through here if we can. Much to bolt in on that side. 
But yeah, much to bolt in on that side. Uh, can we bolt in from above? Yes. There, that should do it. Use our durability tool, double check. Uh, it does not like these guys. This guy needs bolts. This is not working. Hold on, button. Is it just not like these guys? those upper ones, so we'll get rid of those. Happy now? No, because we need extra points. up right? Did I lose another panel or something? Feels like there's something missing for me to be able to uh, weld this to the ship. Or pin it to the ship, I should say. Oh, well now it's not even lined correctly. Uh, so we want to unpin it. Seat it. So we can pin up into a joist. Good try. Uh, let's see. Just like this. That should work. That should make it nice and reinforced. Although that was the wrong one, wasn't it? it? I forgot which one it was that fell off. Alright, uh, well, let's get back to it. So we did find have an interesting find here. We found a extra large asteroid filled with exorium. 
Um, it's got uh, 43,000 Exorium, but I don't know if Exorium is that valuable, to be honest. Because um, I you know I bought some, so it couldn't have been more than a, like a couple hundred thousand for uh, a stack. Uh, and you don't need much to build ships, so I'm not sure it's worth mining out right now when we got a bunch of other useful material uh, that's also hard to find. About the only thing I think of to do is maybe to drop maybe a stack or two and then grab another stack or two of this Exorium just to make sure we don't need any more of it uh, for our own shipbuilding purposes. So I don't think it's worth selling on the auction house or otherwise. But just for the fact of being able to, to have it on hand for when we need it. God, it just did all small chunks. It's like, come on, just break into the big chunks already. Ugh, that's annoying. Get out of here. <laughs> Come on. Give me the big chunks. Get out of my way. I wish I had a, an ore blower <laughs> so you blow all these stupid chunks away. Exorium is. There it is. crack apart since they don't crack into large pieces that or maybe like a a gun or oh here we go finally big chunk came off there <laughs> it just keeps coming apart in slivers away. Ugh. At this point I just want to smack them just to get rid of them. It's like it's going to be easier to do this than it is to use the left click. like the thickest point on the asteroid to start mining. That's what probably happened. Then we'll do a little bit more 
exploration. I think I'm just gonna start heading out actually. And just start wrapping up my play. It's like that sometimes because it's trying to like take in something else and it can't. Take that out. I'll take this with us for now in case it's valuable to sell to the, the NPCs. Alright. So, we got to mine ourselves a little bit of a giant asteroid here. Uh, let's see, we want to head up. No idea if this direction is up. I feel like there's a little bit of a... Where is the sun? Oh, the sun on our right. And then head towards the planet and head up. Sun's on our right. I think we're heading towards the planet and then we head up. Or wherever we can get out of the, the muck, the bit, ink, whatever you want to call it. see if we can get ourselves out of the ink and out of the ring so we can actually see where we are. I feel like we're starting to see the edge of the dust cloud here, so hopefully we're heading the right direction. Get out of the dust cloud and then we can just navigate back to origin. Getting less dense. Stop here, check. Too fast, hit it. Just sing it, I definitely don't need that. These guys are just lit up better, or if they're bigger than usual. Like Bastion. They are regular size, just lit up better. It's like Luconium. Or element, element, material, eight, uh, GC. I think we're getting out of the ranks here, and then we should have an easier time flying around. We're gonna. Yeah, unfortunately we didn't find any of the extra rare stuff that's super valuable on the auction house that we need for six ship building this trip. So maybe I'll go out again and try and see if I can find some. If not, I suppose it's not the end of the world. We can always just try and earn enough money uh, the conventional way to uh, purchase it on the auction house. It'll be expensive, but we'll at least have a large supply uh, for the foreseeable future. 
I'd say overall, the uh, asteroid system is interesting, uh, but it definitely needs some, probably some reworking. I'd say it doesn't make sense to have all these commonors really far out because then like what's the point of coming all the way out here when you could just mine them near the uh, the space centers. It also doesn't make sense in the sense that uh, it's so easy to fill up on materials so quickly um, that uh, you know it just uh, you're having to make lots of small trips uh, just to try and get anything to sell. So I think some rework definitely needs to be done at some point here field. Now we just gotta figure out which how we're gonna get back to the uh, base here now that we're out of the field. Figure out where the planet is. There she is. Great. So let me just pop it down and towards her pole a little bit. This way, that should lead us back home. So I'll go and pause because this is probably gonna take a good uh, 30 minutes or more to get back to uh, the station if we even make it that far. So, uh, yeah, see you in a bit. All right, so we're just back, back to just about back to Origin Station here. We'll hook up our ship and see what the value is of our ore that we picked up. I think I'm probably going to be a little disappointed. They're probably all going to be about the same value. So I haven't seen any differences between the different uh, ores so far, which is a little bit of a bummer. But then again, it's still closed alpha, so hopefully they'll keep tweaking things. Let's head towards the Okim side and hook up to one of the ore towers. already there. I guess we'll go to the lower one. Ah, wrong button! We're good. We're good. Still good. Work. Differences then in the value of the ores, the advanced ores we found. So, Arcanium ore is worth uh, more, but surprisingly not that much more. It's the most valuable thing we found, I think. Uh, yep, Arcanium. Oh, hello, dude. I'm in the middle of recording. Thank you. Talk about a stream snipe. I guess we can wave. Uh, Exorium is about the same. Carnite doesn't have this much value there. Let's mainly just the Arcanum. Searchlight crystals, no, they're not very much. The only thing that was worthwhile was the Arcadum. Don't really want to sell it because I feel like we might need it at some point. So I think for now, we'll just uh, grab everything and put it into our uh, little Oni animals or something. But still not much overall. We'll put it all into our storage for now. Uh, we will refill though. Click to move everything over into our storage. We'll have plenty of Exorium and Arcanium. 
got more titanium. So the ship is definitely a wonderful upgrade from the lab laborer. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead over to the, uh, the ship creation place. I forget what the, the actual uh, definition is for the SSC, but that's what it's called, it's the SSC. So that should be one of these guys right here. So then I'll just give you a preview of what I've been working on. I'm still kind of debating on how to finish things up. Is that a... Oh, it almost looked like a laborer for a second. It's like that got really upgraded. Oh, that must be a Marmot. Oh, that disappeared. Come on. There we go. Park it. So this area right here is for ship designing. You can work on your ships in here without them despawning. But the more important thing is this part here for editing ships called the SSC. Maybe it's like the Starbase Ship Creator or something like that. So I'll just kind of give you a preview of what I've been working on. I do have one ship that I was thinking about upgrading to, but ended up not. I felt the modulus is a little bit better for the cost. Um, so let's take a look at that one first. It's one of my first attempts at making a, uh, an ore transport. And it turned out pretty good overall. You know, it's structurally sound. It's got uh, plenty of thrusters to get it going. Uh, I ended up not liking uh, this cockpit design that I did. I think next time when I do a ship, it's going to be uh, blended with the fuselage. I did like these fins, so I'll be doing these again, which I think I already started doing with the uh, the next version. Got some forward and uh, fore and aft thrusters for slowing down and speeding up. Got these cool looking nacelles here, providing extra thrust to the fuselage. We got a nice little cockpit here with plenty of view space. So overall, I liked it. Uh, there's just a few things that uh, I didn't like, and that's just mainly the way I did the cargo space here. So I did a two by 12, right? Two by 12, yeah, 24 above and below for ore crates. But I don't think I like that as much. For one, there's more space in here. I could probably sneak more in, but it's just not very efficiently used. And of course, there's all this space here that I didn't use. I was planning on maybe having it available, but then when running pipes and stuff, it makes it hard to put crates in there. Uh, so it's just a lot of wasted space. So it just doesn't make sense. So uh, I ended up not doing it, especially since it requires spending like a couple million, like five million on those rare materials we weren't able to find. Like here. I was able to buy everything, all the stuff that we didn't have, uh, or we found it. We have plenty of Arcanium now. Yeah, so I might sell a couple of those stacks because we don't, we only need like 0.2. Um, and then Exorium, we got more than enough. We only need 85 stack, uh, kilovoxels, not even a point tenth of a stack. Uh, I bought the ice, but ice is pretty easy to get. Uh, and then Tangium, almost have enough Tangium. We need a little more Tangium. Uh, otherwise, everything else we've been finding is just the Zolium and the Corazium is really hard to get. And the Cutonium is the other thing I haven't been able to find yet. 
Uh, and see down here, it costs 12 million for this ship, but it only costs us a couple million for the modulus. So it just didn't make sense to go with this one. The modulus would be a good upgrade from the laborer. So I figured if we are going to be building a new ship, we should do something a little bigger. Uh, so it's on this save, but it's actually a different ship. So this is my start of it. So this is going to be the ore section. So what I did differently is made it more compact. Uh, so the ore is are in these con ore containers, kind of similar to how uh, Okium designed his modulus, where they're inside these little containers. So I did uh, two groupings of uh, three by three by three. So there's a total of uh, six by three by three, um, which is uh, twenty seven. So it's uh, nine. 18, so no, it'd be 54, 54 each, so it'd be 108 total crates, if I'm doing my math on the fly here correctly. Um, but yeah, so I think that'd be a little bit better of an upgrade, so right now it's already up to 10 million, so it's going to be a little bit on the pricey side, but with the amount of ore space, we could stay out there for a while and do actually mine, and then we could eventually upgrade it by adding uh, mining lasers, I figure, so that could be cool too. Maybe to like the front of it, we could add a uh, a little uh, like a uh, bubble turret that could control a mining laser. I think that would be kind of neat. Otherwise, uh, and then basically the only thing left to do is design the uh, the main fuselage, um, which would be the uh, the actual area where we'd still have our uh, power systems, uh, and then connecting four thrusters, uh, and then the cockpit. So then, with, I don't think I explained it, what these guys are is they're maneuvering struts. Um, because when you want to uh, spin your ship, the best way to do it when you want to do a roll is to be uh, as far away from the center of gravity as possible, because it kind of acts like a lever. If you look here, the center of gravity of, or not gravity, but in this case it would be mass since there's no gravity field, uh, is right about there. So by putting our struts this far away, rather than uh, putting the maneuvering thrusters on top of it, it takes a lot less thrust to spin. And then same for uh, yaw and pitch. The further they are from the point of which the ship would pivot, naturally by its mass, uh, the easier it is to rotate it. So having these guys spread out is, should help us be able to uh, get the ship to pitch and turn better. And then we'll add uh, a back end, which will have uh, a bunch of thrusters to make sure that we can move at a decent clip through the ore field. And then we'll also have to attach to the front some reverse thrusters to help us slow down or reverse if we need to. So yeah, so that's kind of where we are right now. Uh, episode's getting a little long, so we'll probably wrap it up there. I think I might do a few tutorials on how thrusters work. I already did one tutorial on doors, so be sure to check that out. It's under a separate playlist on my channel. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my episode today, and I hope to see you guys again in Starbase. Bye-bye.